I will be very open and free to talk about my humble opinion of everything, how I am, how annoying I'm as a player as well, especially, and how I got the support from people even though I was pretty, very annoying sometimes because um, it's a mix of everything. I mean, your adult life sometimes can be very strong. You don't have time to play. You need to work as well. Uh, it's the adult life, basically. You have 30 years. You need to do all the stuff. In the past, I was studying in the end of Tekken 7 as well. In the end of Tekken 7, I'm just working fully. But it comes, besides of the frustration for many personal things in my life, I have been trying to go through, take out my personal life and focus in Tekken, it's not so easy to mix these things because sometimes your personal life can strike your mental and there was so many tournaments and so many events that my mental makes me made me lose, basically. There was some offline tournaments that the frustration, the mental gone down and then it loses, I lost immediately. I have a plenty of tournaments where I had this problem. Actually, actually, I endured much better this situation and I tried to survive more and of course practice in the online tournaments like you did in the past season yeah. and also in the ICFCs and also the offline next offline tournament from this year because I can seven for me for me when somebody is asking me what means Tekken seven for you I'm gonna overreact something like this but for me it changed my life. It changed my life completely. The first game that I became full competitive player, I had so many strugglings, like no money for tournaments when I was a student, no time to play when I was a full student, and now it's no time to play when I full job. I mean, yeah. there's so much struggling that I'm not the only one who got this. There's many players around the world that they don't have sponsors and they have their personal lives and they have the passion to play. But when the life is calling, they step out the game. And it's very respectful. I heard many stories from many players in all my years that they give priority to this. And it's not an issue. It's something respectful. Me, I needed to take a break, long breaks for these situations. One, for example, was in 2019 that I needed to... One full year, no competing anymore because I needed to finish my studies and I was working as a waiter and I needed to fulfill my duty as a student because I started that and I'm finishing that. I'm the kind of guy like, when I'm starting something, we will go until the end. But what means until the end, it's until the end, until the last pixel. I have this philosophy in my life always. So that's it. Also, so proud that in the last years of Tekken 7, especially in the quarantine and everything, quarantine until now, had the support of my girlfriend, Setsi, who cosplays Alisa. And she was mainly the principal supporter who had to deal with my mental, my frustration, and then my aim to become a better player, even though I'm working a lot, I'm doing many things, but still, every online tournament there is, I am there. Every offline tournament that there is, I'm trying to be there. Even though if I need to save some money, I will save the money, I will make it that. I will make some, if I win something online, I will use it for compete. If I win something offline, I will also try to use it for compete. That's my, how I try to make it, made it so far. And also the last months I started the stream and I had a beautiful, I have a very wonderful supporters, especially one that helped me and my girlfriend to go to Naples only the best, for example and also try to make it to other tournaments or even though increase our setup. So that kind of payoff is like, means me the power to keep getting better. The power to don't, to don't, be, to don't be conformist, to say, no, 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 that's not enough. I didn't won. I want to win the next time. I want to keep growing up. I want to keep doing until I will win. And even if I win, I will say, and... I will check my mistakes, even if I won the tournament. I will say, I did this, 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 and this. Because if I'm not doing that, in the next tournament, I can smash my, myself in the first round. And a 0-2 is can come. 
no jokes. It can happen a lot of players. It happened to me and it could happen to everybody because we are humans. Of course. And the other the overconfidence could be a worse matchup for everybody of us. Yeah, I think so. I, I totally agree. I mean, uh, you know, when you're at the top, it's easy to to fall down, right? Everyone is, is targeting you. Like they they're watching your matches, they they check what uh, what you're doing, how you're playing. And um yeah, so yeah, I think it's a it's a very good attitude as you as you say, you know. Nobody's perfect yeah. and there's always something to learn and uh especially with a very competitive scene like Tekken is right now. I feel like we have so many strong players, not only it well, you know, Europe was always like the dwarf uh regarding Tekken, usually it was like Japan. Korea and the US. Now we also have Pakistan on the map and um, and the European scene also kind of rising out of that, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, underdog uh, position. So it's just so competitive now and people are just so good that um, definitely makes sense to always analyze your, your matches. And um, I mean, you also have very tough competition in Spain as well with uh, mm -hmm. Tibetano and, and Oracle right now. Um, mm -hmm. So it's, it's not like you're, you're one of the best in Spain, but it's still ki kind of a coin toss, right? It's not like any one of you is untouchable. Uh, because Spain actually in the era of Tekken Tag 2, the level of Spain was I didn't know to be honest fully how was the level of Spain Tag 2. There were so many talented players, the old school players, like many of them are my well, let's call masters or let's call influences for me because they live in my same city. Tanto old players like Choco Hart, Grieg, Mono Borracho, Black Asama, that they were in the era of Tag 2, Tekken 6, and me and Tibetano when we started. We learned it from them, we got smashed by them, and we wanted to be better. A spirit competitive that they had in the past, we learned it by ourselves. We felt that we wanted to beat them in this region, in Catalonia, basically, what we are in the region of Spain. And we tried to grow up better. Everything, beca everything became so, so fast. Because me and Tibetano, for many people who doesn't know, me and Tibetano, we started together play Tekken. We started together, basically. We met in a random gaming bar in the end of Tag 2, in 2016, basically. In, 20, in 2016, at that same year, we went randomly to a regional tournament when we got smashed down in pools. And in the first national that we went in the end of Tag 2, we got smashed down as well. And then in Tekken 7, that's when we started making the clash. Tibetano, of course, much higher than me, but me is sometimes I had the problem of mental to feel comparing myself to everybody who were more stronger than me. And I think for me, that was my worst nerve, thinking that I'm less than the others. That's a really, 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 if you have this problem, uh, uh, it's so easy to say, look at yourself, don't think like that. So easy, but at the in the practice, you need to work a lot in your mind to take down these thoughts. In my case, my medicine to try to make it is oh, hard work every time. Hard work, effort, 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 effort. Non-stop effort. If you lose 10 million times, just get up and keep doing that. I was like this mentality. Oh, with the old school, like I mentioned it on Tibetano, they smashed me many times. They smashed me like. I remember I played Alyssa Lily in Tag 2. I remember I was starting with Alyssa in Tag 7 and I was a smash down. In the Nationals of Spain, I as well, in the beginning, I was a smash down. But mentality never gave up. Many times I fell down, but at the end, just rise up, go, go, don't give up, don't give up. That's mentality that I was doing. But also, like I said before, the frustration. It's so big on me. And when I was losing, I was feeling like I'm a bad player. I'm a shit 
player, sorry. And many, many times when my personal life was dragging me down, this mentality was getting strong in me. And sometimes it was so annoying for myself and for so many of the players. Even though in the last times of Tekken 7, I was having these thoughts. But thanks to the support of my girlfriend and thanks to the support of many people like in Twitch or my Tibetano, the old, the close friends that I have nowadays in Tekken, they helped me to grow up and take down this bad thought and still having this competitive spirit like I had in my beginnings with him, with Tibetano. And that's how I was trying to make it. Actually, like I said before, Spain had these old school players, also had Kuiper, for example, and also they had many underdogs in Spain, like they didn't travel outside of Spain, I think, but inside the national tournaments in Spain, they were so, so, so strong tournaments. In Tekken 7, I think after the COVID times, the new generation came out in Spain, many new players came, and Oracle, for example, is the best one of them, my opinion. Because he started like a new school player in 2019, I think. The first time I met him was in 2019, in uh, TLP, TLP Tenerife. I think that was the name, the name of the tournament. That was the first tournament that I went in his uh, Canary, in his Islands, in Canary Islands, in Tenerife. He was a rookie, and I remember that he beat a top player from that region, one and a player. And when I saw that, I said, wow, one of the favorites who can make the top eight lost against a Niwi. Who is this Niwi? Ah, Oracle from the Team Wolf Warriors. Oh, who is him? And there's an anecdote that <laughs> now that we had the final with Oracle, I would like to speak to speak about that. It's like when I finish, I finish in that tournament, I finished five place. Yes, I finished at five place. Tibetano ended fourth place, if I remember. Yes. And I think Oracle ended top nine. And I remember when Oracle came to me and I told to him, man, you have a great future as a Tekken player. Don't give up, mate. I remember I told him, like, I told him. <laughs> and look, the years passed, the COVID passed, and he smashed me down in in the, your tournament, the grand finals. The tournament that I'm supposed to chill, basically, because that tournament I was, <laughs> I wanted to chill. I wanted, I wanted, even I put in my Twitter, like, I suppose that tournament was for chill. And then Oracle trying to put in my limits. And also he smashed, that same week, he smashed me down in the second major Spain. Um, I don't regret lose. He deserves the win, even if he picked Feng. Everybody has the right to pick the character who you can feel comfortable to beat your opponent. That's why they are in the rooster to select <laughs> and well it is what it is that's why people like Oracle people like the new generation who are following him and also the ones who are perse persecuting me and Tibetano and the others is the same feeling like when me and Tibetano we were trying to do with the same top players in our region you know yeah. it's like let's say a live stream like a live stream circle of life and probably in Tekken 8 in Spain we will have the same we will find probably a new player who at the beginning could be not good but suddenly he comes to an offline tournament and he smash or me or TV or Oracle you know and then pff, more of them could appear I wish that would happen because that means that the region that the country itself will make a big level up actually the level of Spain increases a lot, thanks to Oracle, in my opinion, and also the new players who are training with him, because these guys, they, may, they play online a lot. They are believers of online, in my opinion. Now, in the past, everything was offline. Everything was yeah. offline, and in online, you don't learn anything. But this new generation, they are trusting more in online. Also, the other day, trusting more in offline, and online, and look what he's doing, for example. And also, they meet them in Discord, they discuss. If me, for example, I beat Oracle in one tournament, probably they will study, they will check how I'm doing, they will check everything. That's how a community works and that's how a team works. But especially, one of the things that I like it a lot is when we go together, the Spanish community, to an international tournament, we really support each other. I remember that Tibetano is my coach, me, I give coach to Tibet, me, I give coach to Oracle. For example, an epic moment that Oracle had 
Uh, for example, actually, epic moments that me, Tibetan on Oracle has, Tibetan has many of them, you know that. Uh, Tibetan, for example, when internationally he in Dubai, he went alone like crazy. I was scared, to be honest. I was scared when I listened, he is going alone. And when he lost in the desert, I was calling him like crazy. <laughs> and he beat Kokoma in winners, he beat White Honey, Oracle, for example, in the mix up Leon in losers, he beat Piña. Beat Piña, for example. Incredible match that he had in that momentum and he ended top 9. Uh, no, top 13, top 13. And me, for example, my one big achievement, it was when I fought against Infested in Red Bull Gauntlet Letters and I won him in loser's bracket. I mean, I remember in that, in winners, I lost against Neon Kayana by Golden, by golden Letters. <laughs> Because I don't know if you know about this curious rule. For me, it's a funny rule, to be honest. It was a tournament where if the opponent in all the first two three does three perfects or three grades, you are out. So I lost like that. So in the loser's bracket, I met Infested and the match was very intense, to be honest. I needed to play out of my mind. I needed to, because Korea, the field where you play against Korean, I feel that they are not invincibles. But you need yeah. to be all the time focused and every decision that you take, it's like a coin. One decision, one less coin. And more options to let your opponent read you and smash you. And with Infested, work it like that. Read, 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 and it's what you want. Also, another Korean players that I get played in all my trajectory, international players. Ulsan, I played in a 3 versus 3 in UFA in the last year. There was one match that I was almost to beat him, but he made me two sweeps of Kasumi because I didn't pay attention and he won me. And recently it was in only the best Naples when I play against Cherry Berry Mango. It won me because, as I said, every decision I was taking out, it was letting him to read me and make me a uh, counter hit or make me a side step launch. And he did one of them and he's striking me down. That's the experience that we need to have. What I'm trying to say is, Actually, I mentioned it, three achievements like Spanish players had did this year, me, Tibetan on Oracle, for example, and this is the experience that we need to have as a country, Spain, to be more international, more higher level up. And that's why I'm proud of them. And also I'm proud of myself that even though with all my situation, I try to work out in everything, mental, game, study, mind games, and that's all. I feel proud. I feel proud. And I think in Tekken 8, my expectations for the Spanish community in Tekken 8 will be so big, very big. And new players and newcomers will come. And that will be a challenge. And I love challenges. <laughs> yeah, I think that's definitely for sure. I mean, just, you know, me looking at the German scene, uh, we still have, you know, some old players playing Tekken. But mm. if you if you look at who's placing uh, uh, like in in top eight frequently, yeah, of course you have Sefi Black. He he's the yeah. by now he's the old man that still performs in Germany. But then you have mm -hmm. Tetsu, who is kind of new generation. You have now Nino. You have Kazokulas. You have HK Junior. Right? I think it's going to be the same in Spain, especially with the hype that Tekken Eight has, uh, you know, built up at least, you know, we had a small booth at Gamescom and people were like, man, when does, you know, when does the game release? Where can I find players? Where, you know, people exchange Discord names, they exchange mobile phone numbers uh, and mm -hmm. there are, you know, people eager mm -hmm. to compete, uh, especially yeah. as you say today, people like players are playing a lot online, practicing, talking to each other, exchanging info. And as you mentioned, in the past with offline, it was so difficult to to catch up or, you know, at least even get experience. And now it's much it's much easier uh, to do so. So, um, yeah, we have some exciting times ahead, as you say. And, um, you know... Tekken 8 is coming out in, in January, but until then, we still have some time left for Tekken 7. We have the Tekken World Tour. We have the European Tekken Cup. 
Uh, what are your plans for, you know, the rest of the Tekken 7 lifespan? The Europe Championship Finals, definitely. I, in these last months of Tekken 7, my economical situation wasn't so good, to be honest, because, well, paying this roof studio takes money, and I made a hard decision to rent this room because I live in a, in my apartment, of course. But of course, if you want more space, you need to pay more, of course. And this was the best investment of my life, to have more space with my girlfriend, to have our space to stream, to have our space to do what we wanted, to play and enjoy. And that supposed good many things, in special travel for tournaments. My last big travel that I did before doing this decision was the Tekken World Tour Finals in Amsterdam, one of the best trips that I did in my life, and a big experience that I learned. In that travel, I remember I did a very good run. I faced in winners Ranger 9, I faced Sona from, fin from Finland, I faced Kalkor, we had a very strong mirror match, Alisa, and he, she won 2-1, but it was a very, very close match. And in losers also, I remember I found the star breaker and I won. At the end, I got smashed by Duck from Paris, but the experience that they earned was so incredible. And also the Koreans, the players, everything. Also, meeting my French channel every time that we are in the tournament. He is one of the best references for me as an Elisa player channel, of course. And after that, well, after that, my last nationals. I remember when I started doing the decision of this room, my last tournament was Black Tournament Top, which I in the top nine. Well, for me, that wasn't a good result <laughs> because I wanted to make a big position in a national tournament. And after that, my economical went down. I didn't have many chance to travel, many chance to have money to do, even though I needed to do an extra work to recover some money. <laughs> Thanks to one guy who offered me to the opportunity to save some videos the weekends, for example, and I appreciate him a lot. He saved me, basically. And even though he helped me to go to the mix of Leon, even though uh, with the bus, 10 hours, 11 hours, I didn't care. I paid the ticket. And I was hosted for a nice guy, Leon, my well, good friend, Sushi Frost. I dev him a lot, seriously. And, well, Mix Up Leon was like that. I ended top 33. And after that experience, I didn't wanted to travel more because that trip was so exhausted for me. Us, play the same day, or sleep only three hours, four hours, it was... The passion is the passion when you want to compete, but also you need to be healthy if you want to try to do a good tournament, because if not, your mind will blow up. And my mind blew up in that, that, that moment. But even though in the last, when Europe finals were announced, I say to myself, and I told to my girlfriend, hey, Sexy, I know that we don't have too much money because we are living comfortable, we are living here, I'm working, of course, but why don't try it one more time? Why don't try it? Let's do it. Let's make it. So, thanks to the help of my mom, she borrowed me the money to go to the first major in Tenerife GG the July, from this July, because in July started the Spain Championship. And I went there. Uh, in the main tournament, because that's curious, that was two tournaments the same day. The main tournament, who has the biggest prize pool, and then the other tournament, who was the major of the Spain Championship. In the main tournament, I remember I lost top nine. And in the Spain Championship, I reached the Grand Finals and I lost against Tibetano. I... And it was a tough tournament. But still, after making the top two, of course, the Majors... I don't know if you know the system of the Majors in the Europe Championship that you have three Majors or I don't know if in other countries there's three Majors, four Majors, I don't know. You will only make points to the best Major that you will do. And of course, Tibetano won. He was in the top, me, I was second place. And I told to myself, hey, I'm second place now. Let's try to make it. Let's try to do it. Let's try to qualify. Let's try to give a good goodbye to Tekken 7. Unfortunately, in all my Tekken 7, I never had a trophy. I never had a medal of a top 8 in a European tournament, even though if I worked a lot. But, well, the good medals, in, uh, what I learned in all these years is, even though if you don't have these things, 
the good medals and good prizes is the, su the support that you have from the beloved ones that you still believe in you and the good trusting that they are giving to you. For me, that's more important than a prize pool and a medal. This is the real medal, an invisible medal that is going with you every time that you are playing and every time that you are competing. That's my mentality nowadays. So with this, I went to the all community events in this summer. There was one community event in Zaragoza, in three hours by bus or four hours from my city, Barcelona. I went the same day and I went back. And I won. Won the dojo. Then the next month, September. This September was an insane month. Every week was a tournament. The first weekend, only the best, top nine. The next weekend was a uh, tournament in Barcelona. Top, uh, Dojo plus 48 Tekken World Tour and Spain Championship, which I in the third place. I only lost against Tibetano and Daniel Mado, but I won, I won the points. The next weekend was a tournament made by Tibetano. Dojo plus 48 that they won. I won against the grand finals against Tibetano. Then the last week of September was a dojo in Madrid and this was my crazy trip because I went from night, one of the night, I arrived at nine of the morning in Madrid, I was walking around whatever else and then afternoon we did the tournament, me I was dead basically, and I won the tournament and I won the points. So that was my four community events and with all the joke and effort, now I'm in second place in the Spain Championship and Tibetano is first place. So very probably both will qualify. The two guys who started playing in a random eSports gaming bar seven years ago, now we will have probably the chance to qualify the two of us and represent Spain in the Europe finals. And for me, that's more, that's not something, that, that's something much better than everything that I tried to do in this second seven. And for me, that's a price to say a good goodbye. Go with my best friend to play. And let's see how it goes. I mean, uh, if if you you know qualify for a regional championship, right, like the European Tekken Cup or let's say like Tekken World Tour, it's always yeah. something special. Even if you don't get a trophy, you know, you you kind of made it, right? There's there's no one that can kind of take this from you. People, you know, people can win tournaments, get the trophy, but you know, to to qualify for something like this for the European Tekken Cup, mm. as you mentioned, you need to be consistent. You need to place first place, second place, third place in so many tournaments. Um, yes. So I think you know that's something that you can uh, write down in your CV if you if you can make it in and you you know you can just put it down in, in your gamer CV and say like, hey, mm. I made it to the finals. Maybe you know even if you don't win, I'm. I'm one of the best in, in the world, I would say. Yeah, I'm proud to arrive where I was. In Even though now the level in Europe is so insane, I should say that European players, especially Germany and UK, are the best region for me nowadays. And I learned a lot from those communities, especially Germany. From many Germany players, I learned a lot, especially Sefi Black, Tetsu. Sefi will like, give me some good advices when I was annoying him sometimes in private messages because, man, his mentality is so inspirating for me. And no wonder why he still has the position that he has. And also, I promise to visit more German people and German players to keep training with them, probably in Tekken 8 when my situation will get better, because for me, they are an amazing recurrence. They are consistent and they are very strong. And no wonder. It's not only one, two players. It's basically... An army of 10 players, if yeah. we are talking in Blue Wars. Uh, I hope Spain, like like you told us in Jewel, I hope Spain will have the same in Tekken 8. It will prove internationally that it's not only one player, it's many of them. Actually, the big reference in Spain is Tibetano, who in the, he, without any sponsor and without any help, just the help from the players and the heavy people who are supporting him, he is fighting for qualifying the Tekken World Tour Finals. And he made it far. He made it far. But his last chance is this weekend in Puerto Rico. He needs to win the tournament or end second place if he wants a chance to qualify. And for Spain, for all Spain, that was all Spain united to support Tibetano. And everybody of us will say, even if you don't qualify, you are our hero. 
you are our champion. Because no Spanish could have done this insane run that you tried. And for me, it's inspiriting. Take any I hope I can do the same. Oracle also hope he can do the same. Nowadays, in this last year, the most active players were me, Oracle, and Tibetano. But especially Tibetano, of course. But me, even though with my economical stuff, I try to make it further. And that's it. So, just we say we are proud of it. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing your performance in, in Tekken 8. And I hope, and I will, Tekken 7 is seven years old, so of course, uh, sponsors might not be super interested in, in that game, but Tekken 8 is going to be, you know, the new game. It is really popular, so of course, also, fingers crossed that uh, you guys get the support you need to attend um, international events more easily. I think that's what we're all looking forward to or that we're hoping for in, in the fighting game community that with, you know, Street Fighter 6, Tekken 8, uh, we get kind of the recognition right and we get the support that we need to, you know, keep keep you guys growing as players to represent um, around the world. And um, I hope I hope that... Uh, That will be uh, the case. And I mean, you already said like other people taught you like in, in, in Tekken 7. So I, I, I think people can also reach out to you in, in Tekken 8 to learn a bit more about the game. And then, you know, you said three guys in Spain right now, 10 dudes in, in Germany. Uh, you know, just let's make it 10 in Spain as well. Um, so we have top players, not only like a small group, but a, a bigger group of, of players that can really compete for those top eight spots in, in international tournaments. Um, speaking about, uh, Tekken 8, we had two beta so far. We had the closed network test and now we, uh, at the closed beta test with a few new characters like Azucena being playable. Uh, what's your what's your first impression about Tekken 8 so far? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, my opinion about Tekken 8 is I'm not very fan of Hit System. I mean, I think Hit System it's a nice mechanical to innovate the franchise because of course we don't want Tekken 7.0 or Tekken 7.2. We need Tekken 8, which is a new game. Point to the my favorite Tekken is Tekken 5 DR opinion. Tekken has evolved in a lot of years. Tekken 6 with the bound, Tekken 2 with the insane combos in tag and creativity combos. Tekken 7, the game who marked my life with its style of rechars, power crashes, good mind games, side steps, you know, especially with a character like Alisa that you need to play very, very defensive in that point with side step backdash and also with the pokies. But Tekken 8, uh, Probably what I didn't like it from Hit System is its essence, like it was taken in the past years with the spacing, with the backdash, the defense itself. Tekken 8 once, sometimes with the Hit System, try to force it, the aggressivity. It's not bad at all, because when I played the, I played the Alpha of Tekken 8 in Leon, I play the CNT and now I play the CBT. The CBT not so much because unfortunately my PC couldn't run it very well, but I trust Asusena. That was enough for me. And I felt so good playing Tekken. I Tekken 8. I felt so good. But sometimes I forced it myself to try to understand how to use the hit system. Of course in Leon I didn't understood any any anything like everybody else in the CNT, the closed -end network test. I tried to When I started to understand how to use the hit in the combos, that was a starting very fun for me. Even though if I didn't like it, even though if the hit dash, you are mega blast frames, you have priority, the opponent cannot match, only can do recharge, whatever. But when you're starting to understand how to do it in combos and try to understand how to use your bar, it's like, oh, oh, that where starts my creativity. In that moment, I was playing Jun Kazama. But generally, even though if I don't, I'm not very fan of hit system, I think it's a nice mechanic that Tekken needs to innovate themselves. And at the beginning, I can say I'm not very fun, but that 
the more that I will play in probably after January, the more that I will get used and say, hey, well, we got used, we know how to use it, so it's okay. I mean, even though if you say I don't like it, at the end you can start liking it if you get used, of course, and use your style to adapt your style to hit system. That's in my opinion the transition like every Tekken 7, every Tekken 7 player will start having to Tekken 8. That's it. What I think of Azucena, I'm Peruvian. <laughs> I'm, my, I'm born in Spain and my all my family in Peruvian. I mean, I, the first of my generation starting living here in Spain. But all my origins are in Peru. When I saw the trial of Azucena, and I felt so proud, so real proud of Harada, and the Tekken project decided to put a Peruvian character in a fighting game. I don't remember. There was another character from our country made it into a fight main fighting game. And the spirit of Azucena, the scenario... An anecdote is when I had 10 years ago, I was in a kind of similar scenario like Azucena. The farms and everything. And <laughs> that's incredible. That was an amazing experience when I was a child. But I think Azucena is, for me, is an energetic character. Like, of course, it's a beta. Of course, the jails of Down 414 cannot be jail. The war running 3-2, now that is jail as well, plus 5 in block, and now the instant wall runnings are easily to buffer. Because in Tekken 7, to do an instant wall running, you need to do forward, forward, neutral quick, and forward, and press immediately the button with the for third forward. But in Tekken 8, is forward, forward, neutral, and hold just the button and press the button. And this buffer is so insane. And for Azucena, this is gold. This is gold because even though you can step while running 3 to Azucena, close range, you buffer easily the wall running. Good luck stepping it because you will get a smash it down. In that scenario, I will say, no, don't put it plus 5. Maybe plus 1, plus 2. Well, the guys will know what they will do. But in general terms, Azucena is a very innovative character. Maybe some characters from Tekken 7 won't back to Tekken 8, but I think I like a lot Azucena. I really like a lot. I'm gonna try her in January, and I'm gonna keep trying to try her and have fun. And that's it. And of course, when Alisa trailer. <laughs> <laughs> when I mean, we give me the damn trailer, seriously, because <laughs> I'm waiting ages, events, events. And at the point that I'm saying to my girlfriend, um, I don't want to trust. This event will take Alice. I just <laughs> wait. Just wait. Come on, that's all. You know? But if it's not Alisa, I like a lot Junka Sama. Okay. So that's days, these days, I'm starting to play Asuka because I want to be ready to play Jun properly in Tekken 8. I love the character. But in general terms, uh, hit system, I, I say I'm not fan at all, but I we can get used of it and adapt our style to this and make the transition. But things that I like is the vision of the characters, visually, very nice, very new, very updated. Also, there are so new vibes that the characters have, like the clothes, the Tekken Ball, for example, recover some old things. Uh, what can I say as well? The new moves that they made some characters. Things that I don't like aside from hit system, I think it's counter hit throws. Maybe counter hit throws, I would say yes, but allow counter hit throws to make combos, I would say no. Because that will break too much the game. You cannot allow punish a power crash with a throw into combo. Because we complained about Akuma with a 10 frame jab making a combo. But now Lao is making a throw with a punishing a power crash or making a counter hit with a throw 12 frames. We are in the same story. I hope this, they will consider to take down that. But from the rest of things, unfortunately in PC, I didn't like it play Tekken 8 in PC. The yeah. movement and everything, it felt so whack. I think. The specific for the hardware of this, your hardware needs to be very, very strong to run this game on PC, and it's very unstable. I don't know if in the final game they will resolve that, but definitely I'm not going to play this game in PC. I'm sorry so much. If your PC is very good to run it, congratulate you because I, I really congratulate you because you had luck to do it. But me, 
Mainly, this game must be playable in PS5. When I played in PS5, that was a totally difference. Totally difference compared to PC. Even though when I were in a cyber coffee with good pieces of quality, the game didn't run well. That was so disappointing. In PS5, perfect port, perfect movement, and perfect everything. Opinion. Even though the online. So it had much... You, you felt like it... Did it just run better or did it feel less laggy? Or? Less laggy and run better. I mean, okay. it was less laggy for me. And also the fluid, the fluid, fluid, uh, fluidez. In yeah. Spain, we say fluidez. The fluidity. I don't know how to yeah. say in English. Well, in PS5 was more fluid. You were seeing by yourself, in my opinion, I was seeing by myself that the movement, how was the real movement in Tekken 8? And that was so good. That was so fluid. In my opinion, I like it a lot, this change. The new voices from some characters and the new hit when you block something, it's different from Tekken 7, but it's a new game. You will, you will get used to the new sounds. The beginning, and the new sounds could feel weird to you. I felt like this. I felt weird with the new sounds from blockings, from hits, but it's okay. But in PS5, definitely, I felt much better playing. I mean, with crossplay, you have the choice to play on whichever platform you want. Uh, you can play on Xbox, you can play on PlayStation, you can play on PC. So uh, if you, you know, if you want to go with PlayStation, you can always go with the PlayStation. Join all the tournaments. Well, I guess you can't join the PlayStation tournaments on PC because Sony's like, nah, yeah. it's a PlayStation mm -hmm. tournament. You're not allowed. <laughs> you're not allowed to play anything outside of PlayStation. Uh -huh. That's a nice question because, for example, these last days of Tekken 7, we are having a weekly tournament called from the company ESL, made by Sony. I think it's sponsored by Sony and everything. And in Tekken 8, I don't know if ESL will allow crossplay or they will restrict only to PS5 players in, because, of course. In uh, oh. Street Fighter 5, it was not allowed. In Street Fighter 5, they said you can only play on PlayStation 4. Like they. I, mm. I heard cases where people played on PlayStation 5 and they, yeah. and they disqualified them because <laughs> it was not PlayStation 4. And they were like, uh -huh. but, it's, yeah. but it's, it's, it's the PlayStation. Yeah. You know, it's a PlayStation yeah. 4 version. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, you know. It, right. it, because just for not making publicity, but who puts the money? Of course, yeah. you will play the platform like the ones who put the money. Let's, lay, let's live like this. Probably Tekken 8 will have the same story. Yeah. But, you know, Tekken 8 is going to have so many tournaments uh, going on mm -hmm. online. Uh, I can already tell you it's probably going to be the, the Street Fighter situation. You have two or three tournaments every day. And so uh, it's kind right. of pick your poison uh, which, which tournament you want to join, which tournament you want to play in. Um, All right. However, uh, I already told to some place in my country that probably in the season one of Tekken 8, I'm not going to travel. I mean, I will be full online, full streaming the game, full learning the game, full playing tournaments online, as I said. And also, if there's tournaments in my region, I will go, of course, because that not means so expensive money. But I will be mainly focused to resolve some personal issues be stable economically and stable mentally with everything and once i finish all of this in season two i will consider prepare my real Tekken world tour these things you need to make it once in your life and you need to be ready for that and also Tekken in season one will be new for everybody there will be so many new things to learn there will be players like you can beat one because the opponent doesn't know anything of this I mean, you can play in a tournament in Azucena to a top player, even me. They put me against an Azucena guy, like he, in Tekken 7, he was less stronger than me. And with all the new mechanics and all the new stuff from Azucena and all the new whatever else, or even not Azucena, can be Lau, can be Lily or whatever else, can smash me down. Because we are babies in this game, when, we'll, when the game will release in January. So Season 1 will be like this. Me will be excited in Season 2, because in that era... The game will have half one year already released. Everybody will know how the game works. Now the competitivity will be more serious because now you know what you know what you know what to do in this game, and what's your purpose for this game. So that's why I'm not worried at all. If in season one I'm not traveling too much, if I'm not traveling, 
any sense of two I'm gonna prepare. But I hope my Spanish mates, the ones who will prepare season one, I wish them all my biggest luck and all the enough experience to keep smashing in Europe and keep smashing internationally. I believe in all of them. Yeah, uh, I mean, maybe you're in luck and Pananamco will uh, bring back the online qualifiers for Tekken 8. I mean, this, this year Tekken World Tour is offline only, but mm -hmm. last year we had um, online dojo events as well. Uh, so mm -hmm. in the end, we had, for example, Dombili Maymoon qualify yes. for, uh, for the European Tekken Cup. Uh, just yeah, by playing I, offline, like it was his, it was his first offline event. So yes. maybe you know, as you say, you're you're not planning to travel too much. But you know, for me personally, I hope that um, you know, Badenamco also gives players like you that you know might not have the funds to travel all around the world uh, for like every single week to attend every major and every dojo and so on to to qualify and they bring back the the online component of um of the tech and world tour so you know you say you're not gonna you're not planning to travel too much but um maybe maybe we will see you uh on the big stage uh, that way hopefully basically speaking the case of don Billy was very unique Young yeah, Prodigy, by the way, he is a good guy that I play him so many times. And sometimes, even though he had the same in the USA they had with Speed Kicks, retired Tekken player, that basically he qualified just playing online at his house. And me and Tibetan we were trolling about, they only qualified in the room. Basically, they didn't do anything. They just went in the room and boom, the luck is in the air and the skill is in the air and they are in there. Eight and go to the finals. And Don Billy, I remember in that tournament, UFA, he made top three. His first offline tournament and making top three. Absolute prodigy, to be honest. And hopefully, Sinjul, hopefully that will happen. Even though if it's not for the World Tour, even if it's a only qualifier, only qualifier that if you made top eight or what, something like ICFC or something like your league or something like whatever similar, I don't know. That's something that I don't know, but something like The people who cannot travel at all will make the skills online and will go to some um, offline event and prove the skills that they learned. I believe something like this will happen. Nowadays, the online is the future. And of course, Tekken 8 with the company Arika, they're putting so much work to make this online work. And I, when I listen, Arika is in the project of the game because I'm very fan of Arika soundtracks from the games Fighting Layer or Street Fighter X Plus Alpha. That's how one of the games that I started playing fighting games. Or if somebody doesn't know. And Arika made a good work with the game fighting layer. Because even if the game wasn't... Not so well. Half-half, let's say. Uh, but the online was good. I had good references that the online was good. So I believe that the online in Tekken 8... People complained that in the CBT, in the beta, the online was 50-50. But I think in the beta, they were trying to test another things that the online itself. The CNT, that was the test for online, and CBT, I think, was for another properties in the game. The final product will surprise to everybody of us. With the online, with the game, with the single player, and with the competitive way. I believe, I believe a lot in Namco for the game. Yeah, I agree. Both companies putting a lot of effort into the game. And you know, personally, I also love EX2 Plus. <laughs> ah, really? Player, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I... Great, great, great. <laughs> I have the original game even there in my in my collection. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Yeah, maybe if we if we meet at an offline event or if I ever make my way to Spain, then we need oh, to play wow. some uh, EX2 Plus or or Fighting Layer. For sure, for sure. It's classic Street Fighter X Plus Alpha in <laughs> PS1. I still have my PS1 and my arcade of PS1 as well. <laughs> let's oh, let's sure. play. Sure. Let's play. You know, Lane. I would uh, I would close uh, the interview now. Is there any any thing you want to tell your fans? Anyone uh, tell people who are watching anything you want to uh, say? 
I would like thank you to all Spanish community to make me the player who I am, even though if I have some beefs with somebody of them, even though if I was a big troll and asshole with somebody, so many of them, and also to the people who deal with me. And also thanks to my girlfriend, Setsi Kos, who really was in my side in these last years of second seven. And also to my biggest best friend, Tibetano and Banana, who are my training partners. And also special mention to one of my biggest rivals in Tekken, actually, who is Oracle 99. And for sure, we are going to meet in Madrid, and this time I'm not going to lose. Thank you so much for the interview, Lane. See you. See you uh, next bracket.